Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, yeah, I was, just, I was just doing some stuff and I'd already started doing it. I thought, why don't I just put camera on? I'm in the middle of doing my Alice journal, but I fancied doing something different. I'm doing a bit of napkin decoupage with a gorgeous napkin that the lovely Deborah sent me in my birthday happy mail. So, yeah, I've stuck camera on. I've just done one. There you go, lovely. We need to let that dry. So I'm going to move that out of the way and let's do another one. I just... Yeah, I get... I get in mode that I'm doing an Alice journal. That's what's occurring on YouTube. But I can do this as well. There's no law against it, is there? There's no one saying I can only do one project. I mean, I don't normally just do one project. I don't know what got into my brain. Anyhow... I've got some paper from the pad that Deborah got me as well. It's the die, I'll show it you, it's here on the floor. Well, it's lent up. It's the die cuts with a view one. It's called the Primrose Ensemble. And for a Primrose Ensemble, it's got a lot of roses in. Do you know what is a Primrose? Do you know that's got me thinking, what on earth is a pr is it a rose? <laughs> oh, I can be so daft when it comes to flower names I don't know I'm gonna to have to google a primrose I thought primroses were tiny little flowers but then there's a lot of big roses in this anyway I'm gonna shut up waffling and go on with what I'm doing yeah oh speaking of roses I had a lovely happy mail yesterday from uh yeah the lovely Fiona who is Miss Paint a lot and she sent me some gorgeous little rose charms yeah she also sent two easter eggs for girls <laughs> so yeah and i got these oh, they are absolutely lovely they're gonna go so well with my rose junk journal let me show it you uh, i did uh, do an episode on unfinished projects and i yeah did we do the cover i can't remember what we did in the episode but oh, one of them is going to look lovely on the closure and perhaps a couple in the journal on tags yeah it's been it was a good day yesterday for happy mail uh while i'm now going on about happy mail i got some more happy mail from tanya at tatty treasure Ooh, look at that more of that gorgeous painter's paper that i can use for decoupaging i've got a beautiful tag with it well two tags and i don't know what this pardon me string is tanya but it's so lovely and soft uh, i've had some green garden twine before and it was too stiff i didn't like it but i really love that so that will be getting used as well so there we have it happy mail city right oh yeah yeah i also got those from deborah two little canvas rose print bags i'm going to keep one for me and i think one's going to have to go with that journal put some bits and bobs in because it goes so well anyway let's back to what we're doing before my brush dries out right i'm doing some napkin decoupage this is a sheet of music paper from the die cuts with a view pad and this is the gorgeous napkin it would have done a 12 by 12 sheet all in one but that would have been just too much in one go so what I've done is I've cut my 12 by 12 sheet down. I cut it across at five inches. So I was left with a piece that were five inches by six. And then another piece that was seven inches by six. So that's, yeah, that were not seven by six, 12 inches by five and then 12 inches by seven. And then I cut it again giving me two pieces that were six by five and two pieces that were six by seven i've already decoupaged one of the six by seven pieces and i'm gonna do the other one now i'm just gonna cut this napkin down i can't do it that way because that's just back to front isn't it woman and i'm going to use the decoupage method that uh, i learned from fiona again always miss paint a lot it's, uh, yeah, made me want to decoupage again. And I never really had a good relationship with decoupage. I used to get an awful sticky mess and rip my napkin often. 
but this method that Fiona uses, I don't seem to rip my napkin. So I love it. I'm just getting a piece of this label backing paper, one that doesn't already have a label on, because I can use them again. Oh, wow, how many have already got a label on? I use these for my Etsy postage labels. So when I've had an odd number to print out, I'll end up with these with one label. They're supposed to go back downstairs to use. Right, so yeah, I'm going to use that. I don't like cleaning glue off things. I'd much rather just throw it away when I've done. So that's the paper the right way. That's the napkin. Now what Fiona does is she uses matte medium. I think she does. I think this method will work with any sticky stuff anyway. Do some roses have a way? I've no idea. I don't think there is a way. They're done in such a way that they can go either way. Anyway, whichever way. Any which way but loose is that film. <laughs> is it right turn Clyde or left turn Clyde? Well, yeah, I'll just show up. If you know what I'm on about, you know. If you don't, just pretend I didn't say it. Anyway, I've got my Tim Holtz brushes because I like them. And I have my brush damp. Squirt it with a bit of water. In fact, you know what? I might use a big one. No, I'm going to stick with medium one. I'll never make a decision, will I? So I dampen my brush. I'm going to put a bit more water on it now. And I'm using... I nearly got white acrylic paint out to decoupage with. I wonder if that would even work. I'm not even going to waste it on a nice napkin. I might waste it on an horrible napkin. And I'm using some matte medium. Now with this method, Fiona doesn't put any glue or anything onto the paper. She just puts her napkin over and starts straight away in the middle. Working out. Check it nice and steady and keep your brush well covered in medium. If your brush dries out, that's when you're likely to tear your paper. If you do tear, it's not end at world. I think it looks good, it'll stick. Especially when it's one like this, I'm doing it as a more of a background. If you were just decoupaging one small image, it might, it might be a problem if you teared it. Teared it, tore it. But I'm not. I'm doing the whole background. Eee. I do find this easier than using Mod Podge. I'm not a Mod Podge fan. I know other people are. It's just not for me. Horses for courses, as they say. Wouldn't do it if we were all the same, would it? It'd be a very boring world. <laughs> no one knows better than a twin mum. <laughs> I've got two same, and oh, the challenges that come with that can be oh my word. It was funny when they were little and they used to argue about who oh, were going to sit next to me on the sofa if I was sat at one end. I literally used to have to sit in the middle with them either side, which weren't right comfy. I do quite like to lounge on the settee arm. I like to lean against it. I'm just going back over any bits that I think might have a wrinkle in. I know you're not supposed to go over it, but if you're careful, you can get away with it. Because I have obviously just done this while talking and it's not best decoupage in the world. Right. I'm quite happy with that. Quite happy. If you can see, you can see the music paper through now. I like it. Right, I'm now going to come in with my, I'm just checking it's down and out edges. I'm going to come in with my Tim Holtz heat gun and dry it. She says, I've not even got heat gun out. It is behind me in a drawer. What's stopping that opening? Got one of the drawers next to it. There we go. Gotcha. Thankfully this doesn't need warming up. My plugs at the side of me ready. I'm gonna have another sip of my tea. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, the reason I've had the, the reason I've got this Tim Holtz one was because I was starting YouTube. 
and it's much quieter my old one was quite noisy right we're just going to come in and dry that now I'm loving it I think mine's got a wrinkle there oh no it's it's print it's the rose's stem not a wrinkle oh yes love the look of this what i'm going to do with this then is cut it again down the middle and it'll give me two tags that are three inches by seven inches lovely big full size tags i'll probably put one in front and one at back at journal Oh, have I put side pockets on that journal? I think I did. I'll, I'll put them on pages. Then I'm coming in touching it. See whether it's dried. Looking good. I've stuck me... Uh, it says all stuck to that backing, but not a problem. Not a problem at all. could nearly be dry now so yeah my edges have stuck it back in so here's what I do when that happens sometimes also it don't get dry enough in the middle just gonna grab my scissors so it'd be better if I use little scissors with a point on one set yeah that make my life much easier there you go and I'm gonna tear from the middle away that'll stop me tearing any of the napkin off so I'm tearing the back in from the back of my project rather than my project. Tearing the napkin. Tearing this throwaway piece from the back of my project rather than tearing my project from this. There we go. If you prefer an on-stick mat, if you like washing mats, crack on. Personally, don't like washing anything that doesn't need washing. Right. Check that in the bin. I'm just going to wrap my brush in a wet napkin as well. That'll give me time to get it washed, just like that. A wet baby wipe, should I say. But napkins on brain. I'm just going to give that another blast. Just to make sure it is dry. Seems to be. I do like it. Yeah. And then you can either trim the edges off with scissors or trim them off with your chopper. Or you can even file them off. I think I'm going to come in with my chopper. Oh, that's come undone at bottom. The products are falling apart on me, Tim. What's occurring? I don't think it's the products' fault. I think it's the way I use them. I can be very heavy handed. Oh, and that's just trimmed off nicely. I do prefer using a trimmer to scissors when I've got to do a straight line. Saves a lot of time for me. I was watching Tina at Shabby Doodle, Shabby Dabby Doodle. I keep missing the dabby out. I don't know what that's about. Fussy cutting with scissors the size of my giant Tim Holtz ones. I just couldn't do that. I don't know how she manages it, but she does. She does, she manages it, she can do it. I can cut big straight lines with them. I'm just curling this now. So it wants to curl up, so I'm just curling it back. And I quite like that. I think that is thick enough for a tag. We're not sending these tags through post on their own, are we? It's going in the journal, it's going to be looked at. It's going to be written on the back of. It doesn't need to be 
as thick as a telephone directory. I'm going to come back with uh, that. I'm going to cut that in half, three inches. Could have done that while I was chopping it first time, but it didn't occur to me. I'm going to grab the plastic card. Yeah, she says. I had this plastic card out of a weekend. Did I throw it away? Highly unlikely. I'm going to have to get a spare one out. At least I know where they are now in my favourite drawer. It's not like I'm short of plastic cards I'm never going to use in a million years. Here we go, Morrison's Miles. No idea when they stopped doing that. But I think this card might be as old as my kids. Well, it's at least 11 years old. I've not shopped at Morrison's and put petrol in at Morrison's since I moved here 11 years ago. Because it's fair weight at Morrison's. Easier to go to Asda or Aldi. Right. I'm just making my tag shapes at the top. Now, I don't know about you, but I, I'm not putting anything else on there. I don't want to. That is done. Not everything has to be fancy and, and embellished and... Yeah, so I'm going to grab some ink. I'm using my Distress Oxide and Walnut Stain, <clears throat> which does go over matte medium quite well and dry. Don't know why my scissors are rattling. And then I'm going to come in and make the back look a little bit grungier it is a bit stark white and I'm not too happy with it being stark white so most of you have probably seen me use these before it's they are actually makeup brushes but they're so fabulous for inking I know you've brought some new sponges out for your daubers, Mr. Holtz, and the domed, so that you get fewer harsh edges when you're using them, but you get even fewer with one of these. Right, let me show you. I've got the shiny side of this label thing out this time. I'm just going to circle on. Need a bit more ink on. There we go. You can get a lot less ink on with these brushes. So it will just give your paper an aged look. Lovely. So anything where I've got a white back and I don't want it white, this is what I do. You don't have to use walnut stain. You can use any ink you want. These are fabulous for blending. So that's the one I've just blended ink on. And that's the white one. Can you see the difference and how quick it was? Yeah, that'll save you a lot of printer ink. You know, sometimes I will print a background on if I'm doing a printed sheet. But yeah, Gee, that's so easy. Let's do the other one. Gone quiet, haven't I? But yeah, I do this all over, on all sorts. Anything that's too white gets this treatment. Oh, <laughs> got a bit vicious with it there, didn't I? Oh, I got very giddy. Oh, <laughs> okay, well, it's not bent anymore. And I'll just do my edges. I don't know what I'm going to put on top of these tags. I've been sticking... Uh, eyelets in top of tags on everything lately. I might want to do something different. I might actually want to sew around these tags. I could sew around them and sew in a piece of... Yeah. 
I'm going to sew around them and I'm going to use a bit of crochet lace yeah and I know this has been a very quick video so do you know what I might do I might go ahead and make a pocket in the journal to put them in then it's all done and dusted in one isn't it let me grab some crochet lace I want some of this lovely wide crochet lace oh there it is I like this it's lovely for spines could that be too wide like that I'm gonna do it like that yeah so what I do is I just cut a piece and then just pop it over like that I like the look of it I'm going to glue it even though I'm gonna sew because it will stay on easier what shall I, I'm going to glue it with my miracle glue sticks. They're not miracles. <laughs> They're just supposed to, um, yeah, they are supposed to glue fabric. And I'm looking for a new one because I did a very stupid thing. And I let the one I got out, I left it on my desk all night with no top on. So I'm going to open a new one. When I find it, I think this is more of a rummage with me, isn't it, this video? Rummage with me. Here we go. Yeah, the other one, I don't know if I can revive it when it's dried out to the extent it did. Anyhow, right, I'm just going to put a bit on that side and on that side. I'm not bothered if it doesn't go exactly where I want it because it dries matte and you can't see it that's that one I think this also might need a charm sticking to it does it look special enough with just that on top looks special enough when there's another tag in front of it right some more on back there we go if you put enough on it will stick who would have thunk it that's better so we've just got our lace at the top I'm just going to pause a tick while I sew it and I'm back so as you can see I've just sewn all the way around the edges I've used black thread because the yeah the music paper underneath is black and I'm quite happy with those now I just think they do still look a bit plain but I don't want to put anything on them so I'm going to dangle something from the top there so uh -huh. Ta -da. <laughs> roses Let's have a look. Let's see whether these ones are right for this. Yeah, I think they are. They go lovely with it. Do I want the big ones? I think I want the big ones. Or do I want the little ones? I don't know. I don't know. I could put one of each on, I suppose. I could if I wanted to. Anyway. I'm also going to make some little snippets to dangle them from. So I have here haha, my big box of bits and bobs. It's got even bigger now because I do more clusters. It's, it is looking a bit messy at the moment. It needs a bit of a sort out because I get making and just grab from wherever. So what I want is, I think I want a piece of yeah i want a piece of linen muslin i want a longer piece some of the ones i've cut that aren't going to be the right size for the clusters i sell in my shop where will i find one of those some of these are a bit small i made them too tiny so yeah what piece each of that i want 
some ribbon not that piece it's not long enough that looks better that one could be longer yeah those two will do and I think I want a button as well do you know I might use buttons and not roses on these two I think those roses would look so much better on the front of the journal these two tags got a bit grungy looking I'm going to grab a couple of these little buttons that say handmade with love the smaller ones yeah that'll do might even use a bit of that could even use a bit of that could use a bit of hessian yeah let's grab some bits of hessian as well just because we can right let's see what happens i don't know i can't decide if i want the roses on here we'll see let's make the cluster so we're gonna have a bit of that maybe a bit of that I'm just going to hang this all on a bold pin and dangle it from the top. I want that narrower. I don't want it square. Ah, yes. Managed to change that. I could have made it from one look. I'll just cut those in half. Just like that. No, I think it's a bit too much with the Hessian. Just a bit of that, a bit of that. Yeah, it needs the rose. It does. That's what it needs. It needs a rose. And yeah, it needs the big rose. The little roses need to go on smaller things. So what I'm going to do is grab a couple of bulb pins. I'm going to grab... Do you know what? I'm going to grab black ones. I'm going to pop that through the charm, the other bits of fabric. And I'm then going to attach them to the top. Just like that. Like that. And I'm going to attach it there to the bottom of that and let it dangle. Let's see what that looks like. Oh yeah, that's it. That's made the top of the tag a little bit more special, hasn't it? So when you see it tucked in a pocket, it looks a little bit more interesting having that little collection of bits and bobs at the top so there we go I'm gonna zoom in if I can do it look at me getting fancy <laughs> you can see them better oh there we go so thank you Fiona they look absolutely lovely on there yeah I like them I wasn't sure that they would but they need it that lifts the grunginess so a couple of little tags I really like them I really do Wee. I might make a few I might make a couple of smaller tags with the other ones I'm not going to do it on camera now because I'll probably do them exactly the same as that so let's bring the journal back in yeah they definitely go really well with that don't they yeah, I put side pockets on the on the cover, so they won't go in the cover. I don't know if I've got any built in. Oh, yeah, I've got one there. So, perfect. There we go. Have I got another pocket? I'll put that. I may only put one of those in this journal and save one for my next rose journal, actually. So, there we have it decoupage tags and using those cute little charms that Fiona sent me so thank you very much for watching 
yeah i'm glad i did that video <laughs> and i'll see you next time thanks a lot bye